Hello, I'd like to show you our IMAP card demonstration here at Convert 2008. So we have these uh, small 10 scale trucks here in the bed of the pickup trucks. We have our IMAP card processor for automotive vision processing. In addition, we have a V850 microcontroller. So the image processing chip on the bed of this truck is performing several functions. It's, there's a camera here on the top of the vehicle. So it's processing the video input from the camera. It's looking for three different things. It's looking for lanes, doing lane tracking. It's looking for obstacles. It's looking for stop signs. So here you can see the, uh, the video output, the process video output from the, the truck. Um, you see the blue, blue dot markings mark where the, the, the lane is found. The construction cone we have in front of the vehicle is shown marked in red. And the stop sign you can see is being circled here. So it's identifying all three things. So right now the car is not moving because of the obstacle in front of it. We're showing kind of a sensor fusion here. In front of the vehicle we have some ranging sensors that are helping determine the distance to certain obstacles. So a combination of the, the, the range data and the IMAP data is used to classify obstacles and stop the vehicle. So now if I remove the cone, the vehicle will start moving around the track. It's a fully autonomous operation, so the, the vision process data is passed to the microcontroller, which is then steering the car around the course, keeping it in lanes. We have two cars here on the, on the track. So it's detecting the, the, the silver car, which is going slower. The blue car will slow down and follow it around. So now we'd like to show you an example of the stop sign recognition with these 10 scale RC trucks being driven by the IMAP car vision processing technology. The silver car approaches the stop sign and stop. Now our second car will approach the stop sign. Stop. So the next feature I'd like to demonstrate here is the passing feature. So the blue car is set at a higher speed, has detected that it's following the silver car, and will attempt to make a pass here. You can see it executes the pass cleanly. So now I'd like to talk a little bit about, about the output display you're seeing here. So as you can see, it's marking the lanes in blue dots along the side. It's, as it comes up behind the, the back of the second car, you can see it's marking the second car as an obstacle. In the top right corner of the display, you can see the, the distance to the obstacle measured by the ranging sensors. So it takes the combination of both range sensor data and IMAP data to determine the obstacle is actually in the lane and slow the vehicle down. Now we're coming up on the lane, this lane split. You can see the faster vehicle has selected the left lane this time. I'd like to introduce you to the truck being used in the Convergence 2008 IMAP car demonstration. So all the processing power is self-contained here within the truck. In the bed here, we have the IMAP car processor board and a V850 microcontroller board. The IMAP car processor is doing all the vision processing. V850 is doing the vehicle control here. On the front of the vehicle, we have some sensors. We have the, the camera mounted on the roof of the car, which is taking the video image from the roadway and being processed. In addition, we have two ranging sensors on the front of the uh, in the front of the vehicle that's measuring the dis distance to obstacles. So a combination of those two pieces of data is used to stop the vehicle and avoid any kind of collision.